Let's grab our other flounder here. In front of me. Perfect thrust. Right on him. Hell yeah. Check out this guy we got in the cast net here. Shining gold and red. Good fish. This flounder right here, we're going to go ahead and fillet it up and then we'll throw it onto the pan and fry her up. We're going to start like before with scaling the top and the bottom because we're going to leave the skin on for these fillets. The skin is delicious. Like the one before, make sure you scale it up good because there's nothing worse than eating scales. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a filet here again. Oof, we need to tighten up our filet game here. All right, we've released this filet with the uh, skin on. Looking beautiful here. I'm guessing I've never had a flounder that was over like 10 inches because all the flounder that I've eaten have been like half the thickness of this guy. And this one is a 16 incher. So I must have been eating just baby flounders.
All right, look at that. That's not too bad. I haven't filleted a flounder in eight years, maybe? I think the last flounder that I caught that was a keeper was like 2012-ish. So pretty fillets there, nice and thick. We'll go ahead and fillet from the bottom as well. Right here, we've got the spine. I'm going to take some time to fillet this. That way I do some good work here. Yeah, this is about the thickness fillets that uh, we pick up from the stores, you know? So, I'm starting to think maybe they're giving us the bottom. Let's see if there's any difference in the meat colors here. Bottom looks a little whiter. Huh. Look at that. This kind of looks like a bluefish color. And this one looks more like Spanish or something. Hmm. Interesting. almost pink like chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and give up on that little piece there. It's really not worth my time. And it's not a lot of meat anyways. Let's see how we did. How uh, translucent should it be? <laughs> and off it goes. Check out these uh, flounder fish fillets. Looking beautiful, aren't they? So this is the bottom. Look how uh, different the meat looks. Pretty cool, right? So we're gonna figure out which one tastes better.
I've gone ahead and tied a tandem rig, sort of like a high-low rig that I use for crappy fishing, and I've uh, added a J-hook here. And I'm gonna go and catch some more mullet, and we'll add that to this guy right here. Well, I could not find any mullet right now. So, we're just gonna do the bottom one with a grub. It's a giant grub for this. It's not ideal and we'll do the new penny all right let's see if uh, we can get us a flounder Are you getting bit by those uh, flies? Keep biting me. The ruler's up there, yeah. It's the red one, give me the red one. Tape measure time! I didn't have the GoPro on because I didn't think we were going to catch anything, but look at this good boy I caught. I've got to be 15. He is 16. Let's go! Buddy! Guys, I am so excited. I need to get that back out there. Caught on the tandem rig here.